Yeah, man, Super Purples, one of my blessed beats. Sometimes you have an old beat, you don't have the stems for it, and the sneer is just out of whack. Here's a good use case for you, for me to introduce to you how the mysterious multiband compressor can be used to your advantage. Let us go. All right, I got this old, old wooden beat right here dating about 10 years back, and you're gonna hear when the drums hit that the snare is just, it hurts, man. Ouch. So what are we going to do about that? I don't know why, but for some reason, it was always the snares. Now, I know this in the back of my mind, so I try not to make that mistake from the beginning. But still, sometimes, I just want to pick up these old beats and maybe use them. Maybe drop a few bars over them, you know what I'm saying? So one thing we could do is just drop normal EQ on there and find our culprit. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, around there is where it hurts the most, somewhere around there. We could, you know, carve that shit out. But we're also sacrificing a lot of the frequencies in there that we might want to keep. So we're going to use a multiband compressor for it instead. You could use any multiband compressor. I like to use Neutron because it is so quick and smooth and hands on. But it's the same principle. So I'm just going to go for this one right here. The compressor is all we need. Now, by default, we'll compress the whole damn thing. But what I love about this, about Neutron and some other multiband compressors, is that you can select your range like this. And we already know somewhere around the whereabouts where we want to fight our snare, or collapse and snare. And, you know what I'm saying, that's essentially what a multiband compressor is. You select which part of the frequency range you want to work with. Extra smooth points for this, because you can just click it and create your range wherever. So let's play this back. First thing you can do is solo this right here. That way it's easier to zone in on the frequencies that hurt your beloved eardrums. Yeah, I'm hearing, that's the, that's the type of stuff that I don't like. Going out of this solo mode right here, make sure we have this range selected. You gotta observe this threshold because if it doesn't hit the threshold, the compressor is not really working at all. And we can see these nasty peaks right here. That's the knives going into our eardrums. So let's pull this threshold down. You can see right there. I think we can keep a subtle ratio, but I wanted to act on it rather quickly. So very low of attack. It's this makeup gain right here to lower the volume a little bit. Maybe uh, you can use this for reference, but I say maybe we want to chop off like maybe four or five decibel right there. And we can see the results here in real time. Effectively, we're just lowering that disgusting clap and snare that is trying to do harm to our family. And it's as simple as that. <laughs> it really, it's as simple as that. You can fine tune all the settings, maybe give a little knee to the stomach as well right there. But let's listen to the before and after. I want to see that we don't damage it uh, too much. So let's start off regional. I would say it's pretty much usable right now. I mean, it's a dirty beat. It's not a pop song and I'm not Bruce Wadeen, but it's gone from horrific to pleasurable. 